what we have to do in this case is when we're evaluating this, this is a positive value. Like, let's say the area under this curve is 5. Area under this curve is technically like 8 or whatever else. Like, it's actually just, remember, they're given the area. So that's positive values. That's very important. So if we're integrating this from negative 4 to 1, again, we're following our process. That, and that area, we know, is the integral is going to be positive. However, remember, the integral doesn't give us positive or negative, right? The integral gives us the net, right? So even though this value here is positive, but we can see that it's the, ne the net would be negative. So when we're doing from negative 1 to 4, this is actually going to be a negative a sub 2, right? Because it's, not a, it's giving you the area, and you're actually using the integral for that. In the same respect here, now we're going from negative 1 to 4, so we're going in that opposite direction. That's why this one is negative a sub 1. And then we're going from negative 4 to 4. That's going to be our a sub 1 minus a sub 2. And then we get into um, this point. Now for e, we already have our a sub 1 minus a sub 2 minus from negative 1 to 4. We know that's going to be a 2 times a negative a sub 2. So therefore, that turns into a positive. And um, so therefore, a sub 1 minus a sub 2 plus 2 a sub 2, which gives you a sub 1 plus a sub 2. Does that make a little bit more sense? Sorry about that. I kind of jumped my mind. Yes, no questions? So just remember, this was represented by areas. And I didn't, part of the reason why I did that is I 